Now you may have used products similar to this in the past and you may have found that, that well there's been a time when you just haven't found them quite sticky as you needed them to be. Here's an opportunity to get probably the premier product in the market at the moment. These are from Stix2. There are craft dots and our micro dots. Now if you're not familiar with these, if you've never seen these before, if you don't know how they're going to enhance your projects, here's Carol Vernon to explain a little bit more and to tell us how she used them in her project. But these really are, once again, it, I think it's a thing about sticks too, isn't it? It is. Get it's excited. It's sticky. It I know it's just getting excited about glue, <laughs> yeah, but they, but you they have really to. stick, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it's a staple diet of your, of your card making. Without the glues, you can't make cards, you can't scrapbook, so it's got to be a good product. Well, let's have a look at the, the kind of cards that you can make right. from where you're using them here. Now, these are craft dots. Mm -hmm. They're coloured and heat, heat embossed. And they look so brilliant. Now this is a, um, this is a really important thing with the, with the craft dots. They are very, very clear. And so clear, in fact, that I've used them on this acetate to actually stick the handbag. And I've made this handbag as well using another uh, product from Stix2, which are the, the large beads. Mm -hmm. But you can't actually see... No, you can't, can you? The dots. You can't see the dots. That yeah. is really very clever, isn't it? It's fantastic. Can we, dare, we, dare we open it look inside? Yeah. It will all be revealed. Look at that. You can't even see what the inside as well. Just, just look over the other side here. You'll see just here, at the look. back, on the back of the acetate, and you'll see okay. exactly what we mean. Have a look. Let's just look at the, the bag. There we go. And you can't see no. the dots. And that's the whole idea because they are so very clear. That is just a very, very clever idea. Now they're the 6 and 10 mil um, craft dots. Now the other thing we've got are the micro dots. Mm -hmm. Now micro dots are used for sticking paper to card, card to card, all different things. But if you heat emboss them, you get a, sort of a plastic feel to your card, so it makes it very, very professional. Now just give that a wriggle, you might be able to see the shine on them. Yeah, you can see the shine just there. Absolutely uh, wonderful. Let me just, I'll hold on to that for a moment. There we go. Just look down the side. Can you see on, on each yeah. of them, you can see the shine? There you go. And then in the middle, I've just put a half a six mil craft dot and then um, embossed it with the foils. Very pretty. Nice idea. See, you can do that. Now, they, they come, I'll just have a quick there we go, yeah. they, they come They're like fabulous. this, don't they? Yeah. If you can see that each square as well is perforated. Mm -hmm. That's so going to make it easy. If I do, I'll tear this one up. All right, so then. you actually see how easy it is to perforate. Right. All you need then to do is to lift up and separate like that. And there we are, you've got the, the actual individual dot there. So you can pop that down onto, I don't know, let's stick it onto here. Pop it onto the corner and just peel back. There we go. Well, there it is. That is. So then, that's the craft dots. They are absolutely amazing, aren't absolutely, they? Tell yeah. me, what about the micro dots? Right, the micro dots are virtually the same but smaller. Right. So I'm just going to take a little piece of card. You can press them all on as you want. I'll just tear them back like that because they're very, very aggressive. So you can use this on thick card as well. Okay. Now, is that the way most people would, because you see, now if I'd have seen that, I, I'd have wanted to have laid it down and yeah. I would have wanted to have pulled it off once and, yeah. all the car, and all the micro dots have come off in that first hit. Yeah. But you can actually just put them on, take them you off. You can do, yeah. You, right, can do okay. it, you can do it either way, to be honest. And then I'm just going to place the shiny gold onto the matte gold. And there we go. It gives a nice that. effect as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It looks like a frame, actually, if you can put a photograph So something's going to go well. inside of that. So we're halfway through That's to right. a terrific looking card. Yeah. Now, now w w when would you normally use the micro dots? Is that when you, would not, when you would normally not want to use, should we say, an ordinary glue or a wet glue or something like that? You can do it. It doesn't really matter. You can use them on so many different applications. I mean, you can use them on card or papers. On some vellums you can as well, but I would test because um, some are, are very, very slim, thin. So you can sometimes see the micro dots. But on so many applications, they're Wonderful. Mm. I mean, the thing about the micro dots and also the craft dots are that it's just how incredibly sticky they are. They what are, they're going yeah. to do is that they are, you're not going to get one of these cards that once it may be sitting above the mantelpiece or the fireplace for any length of time, that what will happen is it'll dry out and it'll all fall to pieces. pieces. <laughs> because we've seen that before, maybe you've seen it before with some of the other uh, kind of products that are similar to this, you may have seen that. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to happen nope. here. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> okay, what else are you going to show us here? You're right. just going to finish this off, are you? No, I'm going to show you a different technique, a different way of using the dots. Mm. I've just got a, a paper tile out of one of the, the scrapper books, mm -hmm. so you, you sort of make up letters, stick that on, make sure that you've got enough dots to cover the whole tile. 
fact I will stick it on it and it's just a little bit easier in this case and peel it back just take a pair of tweezers and drop it into some clear embossing powder and then I've got here my, my heat embossing tool watch this it turns the plain paper into sort of a plasticized sheet so you can use it for labels and all sorts of different things. So it's beginning to happen now. It is, yeah. Here it comes. There we go. Can you see it shining? Yeah. You can see it just there. around the edge. You see, you can there, see. Oh, there it's, that's going. Look at that. So if you want to give it another coat, oh, to make do. sure this will go very, very quickly now. Now. There you can just see it's go. beginning to go now. Don't, don't. You call oh. it there. Oh. There we go. And you can see, look at that. And that's it. So now that's heat embossed. Just, just, just using show the micro dots. Just show that there. There we go. And just, can we just move it so the light will shine off it? So, it, ah. There we go, look. Isn't, isn't that an fabulous. incredible way to use yeah. that product? That's fantastic. So now you've just changed something from being just sticky. It'll, it'll uh, harden up in a minute. It's just a little bit warm from the embossing tool. So you've gone from something from one use to another use. And and see, you know what, when we were talking earlier on, I was saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking, and, and I didn't really realise it. It didn't dawn yeah. on me exactly what you meant by what you... That's exactly what we've done on the card, isn't it? That's right, yeah. And if you look there, you can see now that each of the little labels has got the letters on are all shiny as well, because that's exactly what we've done with them. Now, it's, it's just, just look at the characters. There we go, you can see. It's those little... That's it. If I move them like that, you can see they just shine. They just pick the light up, particularly the P. Look at the P. There, yeah, the P. We can see it there with the P. It's fabulous. It looks so professional as well. and it's, It gives another use to all of the, the different things in scrapbooks you can use. Clever, <laughs> clever, clever idea. Uh, another thought I was just thinking, and you're going to tell me that it's rubbish. Can you use these for mount pictures and albums as well, I suppose? You could. You? Um, you could do. But not really ideal, no? But not ideal. Okay, just, just check. Just ask. You've got to ask. Got to ask. Okay. Here we go. Right. Now, these are your craft dots. I'm just going to peel one onto there mm -hmm. and peel it back. I'm going to use a stamping ink pad mm -hmm. and just apply a little bit of colour onto a brush and onto the dot. There we go. You can put as much on as you like, different colours if you want to. Put that aside. Again, apply a little bit of the embossing powder to it. Move that out of the way again. Now heat emboss it. Now another way you can actually make the stones with these, so you can actually put the alphabet or whatever underneath, and then put your glue dot, uh, your craft dot over the top. Oh, it's beginning to go. Yeah. So if you put your craft dot over the top, and then just heat it, heat emboss it. There we go. There we go. Once again, just sensational. And so now you can colour them as well. And so you're thinking to yourself up until that moment, you're saying, just a, just a sticky dot. No, well, it's not. It's, it's more not than that dot. now, once again. Uh, I bet you, when you're making your cards, you're always looking for ways to give it depth, to give it a feeling of textures and that. And, you know, this is the kind of thing that your friends are going to go, wow, saw that card that you made. How did you do that? Well, this is how you do that. It's as simple and as straightforward as this. What else? Again, you can use the craft dot with a little bit of the foil. Press that onto there. Just give it a whiff back. <laughs> there you go again. Easy it looks fabulous. It does. So you know, simple. Uh, and so many people will probably be familiar with Sticks 2 products yep. and uh, they'll just be using the craft dots to stick two sheets of paper That's together. That's right. Yeah. That's no, don't do, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't just do that. Now, continue on and start exploring yep. and experimenting and be inspired. Let's just say, is, that's, is that everything we've got? You can it? actually use it with the glitters and the beads again. So, right. you know, if you, if you just wanted to pop one on. Very quickly with some just of the glitter, and then what we'll just remind you exactly what, uh, yep. the, the two different uh, items here. And, and if you do want to get hold of these, of course, you can also go online, go to your local retailer as well. If you go online to Sticks to have a look at the website, and uh, that'll tell you who your local retailer is. Again, because it's very sticky, it doesn't take a second to do it. Isn't that a clever again, idea? So simple. So you can make borders, edges. Really, whatever you like. I mean, on the one I've done, I've done all the little balloons, tied some ribbons to. So what I'm going to do very quick. I'm going to remind you about the cards that we made. Let's just put those to the side because yep. that's such a good idea. 
That, I think, is sensational with uh, embossing the labels and, yep. and using, once again, the, the, uh, the dots and also the micro dots. That was a clever idea, the way you were able to put that. I still you can't see it on the inside yeah. of the card. That's very clever too. And once again, if you're looking for the ideal solution, particularly if you just want to add that three-dimensional look, see, this is perfect for doing that. This is going to be ideal once again if you want to use so it. So just use all different colours and all the different effects. It's very really good, isn't yeah. it, the way it's all been done. Okay, here they are. It's our craft dots. They're acid-free, 1,600 assorted uh, in this particular box. A transparent dot. That sticks the that lot. Sticks the lot. And also, we've got the permanent micro dots. Is there a is there a snappy phrase on there? They're just brilliant. They're just brilliant. brilliant. It says here that transfers where you want. There they are, craft dots and micro dots.